Good morning from uh, the side of the road next to some hot springs. Just been uh, playing on the computer a bit and organizing. Uh, but I just got invited down to the springs by these two knuckleheads in their, uh, <laughs> in their banana hammocks. So, you know, I can't pass up a good time, so I'm going to jump down there and join them. Start off my day the right way. <laughs> well, the Jacks is back from... Uh, dipping in the hot springs. Uh, it was quite nice. Uh, there was some uh, nudity, so couldn't uh, show you <laughs> show you guys that. It's not the kind of a channel. Uh, but I just noticed my uh, scruff is probably re ready and due for a little trim. So uh, I think I'll do that, and then I'll edit some videos, and I'll check in with you guys shortly. go there is a spot just want to let you guys know it is hours later the creek keeps on rising and uh, right now it's fully breached over there and I would guess that it's lukewarm maximum as you can see the water has uh, gone up I would say six to ten inches so this thing is gonna be washed out probably by tonight or tomorrow um, also, I say goodbye to Tweety and Eric. Those guys, those guys are a hoot. They were so much fun. Um, and hopefully they send me a direct message on Instagram so we can keep in touch and uh, maybe link up in the future. Um, it was a pretty eventful afternoon. Although, I did edit, edit three videos. So uh, what I'm gonna try and do is try and schedule them in advance so <laughs> it appears that I am uploading every single day when in fact I am producing content every day but whenever I find Wi-Fi that's that's when I you know upload in bulk um, other than that met a really nice dude who told me about a hot springs book so I'm gonna invest in one of those it's probably gonna be worth it since I seem to be pretty fond of it so far so quickly um, also propositioned me which I declined I told him thank you but no thank you uh, obviously oh and he signed the bus too I'm not gonna call him out because this isn't about embarrassing anybody but just personal preference uh, so the clouds are coming in I think it's gonna rain tonight or tomorrow and since there really is no reason to be here any longer, I think we're gonna hit the road. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time now to fill up my water because I, I ran out. I didn't have any after midday. And uh, as you guys know, I love hot springs, but I also love cold springs. So we're just going to let nature feed my soul and water my mitochondria. I think it's been a long time since science class. All right, chopped off. Let's give it a try. Delicious. Look at all this water just going to waste. It's going right in that drain. All right, I'm at a crossroads. Um, looking at the map, trying to decide what to do. Also. For the shower install, I need to get my hands on a fresh water tank of sorts. And it looks like I'm gonna have to probably order one unless like Camping World has it. Um, so there's that. Uh, also, I might end up doing some slight construction on the back bed part to modify to fit this fit this water tank. I just don't know how large the tank is going to be. So 
just kind of hard to make a decision because I'm probably a day's drive away from Portland and I am in Idaho. I do want to travel Idaho, but the thing is, uh, I'd like to get this thing installed no later than the end of May. So then I can head back through some states towards VidCon in June. By the way, if anybody is near VidCon or going to VidCon, please come say hi. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Uh, let's continue driving, maybe I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right guys, brief update. For the first time, I got frozen food. Uh, I just got some vegetable mixes. That's an Asian vegetable mix. I really don't know why they consider Asian. They look like vegetables to me. Um, this one is a classic, you know, I don't know, maybe it's American mixed vegetables. I have no idea. And then I got some other, I got some asparagus. And basically what I'm thinking is to do like rice and vegetables in the pressure cooker along with, I scored all these organic beans and things like that. These were two bucks a can. I feel like that's like a pretty solid price for organic. These ones are a little bit more. These are no salt added. These are pretty healthy. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stay away from canned stuff because I feel like organic stuff that is not in a can is probably healthier and cheaper. I just have to soak it in advance or get myself some lentils because those things will cook up in the pressure cooker with just a few whistles. So <laughs> I am in a town called McCall. <clears throat> I was here the other day on accident. I have no idea still where I'm going. I'm just going to make my way north a little bit and uh, maybe cross into Washington tomorrow. I really don't have a clue. So, without further ado, let's hit the road! <laughs> I know it's incredibly hard to uh, to tell where I am, but uh, just for reference, I'm on the side of the road on a forest road. Maybe it's easier if you see. So there's a road. I'm over here on the side, right there. Um, again, public land, free camping. Everyone's entitled to it. Who is a U.S. citizen and probably a visitor. So come take advantage of it. Pull on the side of the road. There's multiple cars that way. Um, and actually, I think some guys that I met yesterday at the uh, hot springs, <laughs> funny enough, in a Volkswagen bug or bus. Um, anyways, let's go make some dinner. All right, we're gonna do some uh, spring vegetables. I'm not really sure what spring means, but I know it is currently spring, so sounds like a good idea to me. Next up is uh, Atsuki beans, no salt added. Uh, this brand seems to be pretty easy to find in uh, regular grocery stores. Regular meaning like non-Whole Foods kinds of places. Adzuki beans, by the way, are very delicious. They're kind of like black beans, but a bit more mild. All right, and to make the beans a complete protein, I'm adding some rice. There we go. A little bit goes a long ways. Here we go, and some of that fresh mountain spring water. There we go, that should do the trick. I was a very good YouTuber today. I made three videos. I know I'm a little late on the uploads and I apologize for that. It will happen from time to time. But uh, this one is vlog number 212. Uh, I'm gonna work on 213 while dinner is cooking. And if you guys have never used a pressure cooker, I highly, highly recommend you give it a try. Uh, this is a stainless steel one made by Presto. I got it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Rice, <laughs> just let it whistle once. Uh, whistle meaning like when that thing comes up and then just let it sit let the pressure come down as it cools you got yourself a meal I just want to show you guys oh there we go look at that magical unicorn juice um, that looks like a pretty balanced diet to me and possibly the cheapest and healthiest meal I've made so far that has been essentially everything's pre-made except for the rice so it's a little bit wetter than I wanted, but um, you know, still, still pretty satisfied with this. Uh, I'm gonna shut the door now because the white lights attract the bugs, and I'm gonna call it a night. See you guys, manana, 
and uh, I really don't know what's happening tomorrow. <laughs>